Hey baddies, welcome to another Auntie Amy's Trashy Tarot. Today I'm doing another pick a card. This one is going to be all about who is your true love. So today I am going to be pulling as I go and at the end of each group I will be getting letters, initials, and charms. So we will be getting more details about who is your true love. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a little video for those of you who need a bit more time to see which group you're drawn to. If you are drawn to more than one group, there probably is more than one message here for you. And with that said, I'll see you beautiful, magical baddies on the other side. Bye guys. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got you. Hey group one, all of you that selected hugs and kisses, this is going to be your reading all about who is your true love. So keep in mind this is a general reading, it's a general session, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Um, I'm going to be pulling as I go today, but at the end of this reading or group, I'm going to be getting letters, initials, and charms, and we're going to get more details about your situation. So let's get into it. I'm going to pull from the archetype um, oracle deck we're going to start there and see who is your true love all right so now my tongue is a tad bit heavy because of my medication that i take for my autoimmune disease so just keep that in mind sometimes when i get to channeling the words get kind of um <laughs> They get kind of mushy, okay? <laughs> so we have one card. Um, I'm feeling like maybe one or two more. This one, um, I'm feeling pulled to this one too, so we're going to take it. Now I'm going to pull from one of my astrology decks here. Um, one of my uh, followers got this for me from my Amazon wish list, and it's a great deck. I, I really do like this deck. I need to use it more. Okay, um, let's get... A few cards from here. Tell me more about who is my group one's true love. Who is my group one's true love? Who is my group one's true love? Who is my group? Okay, we have one that flipped. We have Earth. Okay, so they're Earth sign. Um, let's get one more. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was easy. We have Virgo. Okay, so we have Earth and Virgo here. Um, Taurus, Capricorn, and they're pointing to Virgo. So you may be an earth sign. They may be an earth sign. Um, let's see what else came out here in this little pre-shuffle situation. Well, I guess it's not a pre-shuffle. Uh, we have servant. Ooh, we have Samaritan and we have advocate. Okay. This is really, really positive. Like this is a very positive person. This is a very giving person. Um, I'm feeling this energy of they're very aligned with like animals. Um, this is someone who's probably into nature. This could be you. This could be them. Just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Use your own good balanced discernment here. Okay, let's look at the emotions of this person. Let's look at the emotional intelligence of this situation. Okay, give me a couple cards here. Um, I feel like this person's very humble. I'm getting the word humble, grounded. Um, and there's a good dose of logic here. I, I do feel like for them, uh, their spirituality is probably connected to earth nature um, kind of vibe here. They may like to hike um, as well. They might like the mountains. I'm just getting this very like earthy person. I'm going to pull these three. Um, being guided to pull the three. So we're going to go with that. Uh, we have practical practicing daily spirituality. Um, we have choosing experiences wisely, and we have welcoming the help of others. I feel like for uh, you guys, 
this welcoming the help of others is kind of like how they come in. So if this person is in your life, this is kind of like how they came in into your life as you had to kind of like open up to other people. Um, perhaps this person came in as a friend, um, a helping friend. Um, for some of you, I'm seeing like animals. I'm seeing dogs, um, maybe someone who is charitable with dogs or animals. Uh, I'm seeing like meeting at like a park or at like a like an animal park, like a dog park kind of thing. That won't be for all of you, but um, I just see somebody who really cares about the environment. Um, and uh, that won't be for all of you, but I'm picking up on different energies now. So, um, and I feel like this person has a good feel for people with this choosing experiences wisely. Um, I feel like they don't put up with a lot of drama in their life. Um, and I feel like uh, this practicing, practicing daily spirituality, I feel like for some of them, they are very spiritual. Okay, um, especially with the Samaritan and the servant here, advocate. I feel like they're very spiritual, okay, um, very deep spirituality. And for others, their spirituality is communing with nature. Okay, I'm being drawn to this animal spirit um, oracle deck. It's because I feel such like nature energy from this person. So much earth here. Um, I feel like this energy of someone coming into your life and helping you ground, helping you heal, um, someone who helps you really get in touch with your own sensuality and not necessarily in, um, you know, a smexy way, <laughs> keeping this PG, PG 13, um, but someone who helps you enjoy life. I feel like some of you guys have had a pretty tough, pretty tough life. Um, perhaps a love has not been kind to you. And with the servant card advocate and Sumerian, I feel like Sumerian, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Samaritan, uh, maybe you've had a past life in Samaria, you guys. Um, I, I feel like this person, it's almost like they are a true, true soulmate, a divine counterpart, ugh, twin flame energy here. And they're coming in, but the twin flame feels like divine counterpart because I feel like this person's coming in to help you heal. Um, I don't feel like this is, there's a lot of like issues with this person. I almost feel like it's divinely timed for them to come in at a time where you've healed so much on your own. Um, but it's like they're here to help you enjoy life so you can heal more. They're here to help you ground into the now so you can hear so you can heal more. Okay, let's let's keep going here. This card wants to come out. We have be generous of spirit. This person's going to be very generous with you. And I feel like for some of you, this is going to be difficult. You're not going to be used to this person being so generous. Um and because I feel like for some of you, it feels like you've been denied access to like true love. Um, you've had a lot of fakery of true love. Um, I feel like for some of you, especially with this lion here, this Leo energy, you may be a Leo, you may be a fire sign, a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Uh, you may have mistaken loyalty for love. Okay, um, I'm hearing like loyal to a fault. You have been a servant to the wrong uh, people. You have uh, given of yourself to situations that did not serve you. And I feel like some of you guys have freed yourself from those kind of things and you've broken those patterns or you're breaking them. And this person arrives or has arrived in your life uh, to help. It's almost like a reward or a gift from the universe because this person's going to come in and help show you what true love really is, how it feels. You're going to understand all the songs that people write, all the movies, that feeling that people talk about um, because this person really is going to help advocate for you in ways that you've never had someone do that for you before. Um and you're not going to have to hide pieces of yourself. I'm feeling this card here. Starfish, open to infinite possibilities. I feel like in order to kind of let this person show up, um, if they're already in your life, then you already know, you've had to kind of open yourself up to possibilities. Because I feel like this person is probably outside your norm. 
they may not be someone you would normally cross paths with. I feel like you may meet them in a very weird way. Um, let me get this bottom card because they're calling me to the bottom card. Uh, we have bring your ideas to life, electric eel spirit. Okay. So I, I feel like this person, um, I feel like they're very creative and they may be outside the realm of like your friend group. They're just different. They may appear different. Uh, they just may not be your type kind of thing. Um, and so all this healing and work you've been doing was to get you to a place where you could open up to the possibility of this person. Um, coming in so let's get some let's get some love messages here i want to pull some tarot as well uh, we're gonna use this tarot deck right here okay all right let's get some tarot then we'll get some other love messages um i do feel like this person with the electric here um, again, I'm feeling that fire, but we have starfish, so there could be water here. So I'm feeling really all the signs. Um, not a lot of air here, though. <laughs> not a lot of air. Uh, we have the star. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful energy. Um, there's that water again. So Pisces, I'm feeling Pisces. I'm feeling Scorpio and Cancer. I feel a lot of Pisces here. Um, I feel like this person may actually be very intuitive. Um, they could be psychic even. Uh, let's get these two cards. Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Um, I feel like there's, I feel like this heartbreak here has to do with like your past, like what you've been through, okay? Um, and I, I feel this energy of like this person coming in, right? Uh, with a new beginning for you, with a new possibility for you. And I feel like, You've been healing your heart. We have the hermit here with the three of swords. Um, you know, you've been on that hermit journey, uh, really di digging deep. Some of you have been doing this for a while. Some of you guys may be with this person, but are still on this journey. And it's like this person arrived to help you heal and you're still kind of in the hermit energy, but they're there. They're still with you, like, and you haven't really completely, like, connected to this person, but you get this. You see this, um, and they're your person, and they're here to help you heal, and you're not realizing that there's a, there's a different depth to this relationship that will unfold, okay, um, because they see this star, okay? They see so much hope here um, and so much possibility. I feel like this person, your true love, comes in to really help you tap in to your own potential, okay? Um, to your higher calling, if you will. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about the star. Tell me more. Um, the hermit really is about knowing self, learning about self, learning about your gifts and abilities. Um, and I feel like through the hardships you've been through in your life, it really has led you down to a path of true self-knowledge and authenticity. And I feel like that's what really helps you open up to the possibilities of this person. Um, this is someone who really is going to be so healing for you or they already are okay and sometimes we don't realize it we don't realize we're with such a healing person it's just it's a natural flow and we don't label it okay we have the king of cups and the queen of swords okay so there's some air here um and i'm feeling like the king of cups is this person okay um very giving very romantic um and I feel this energy of really wanting to make you happy, wanting to facilitate. It's not like they're, the, they're your happiness. I don't get that. I get that they just want to facilitate your happiness as much as they possibly can. Um, and I feel like you have come out of this very intense situation with the Three of Swords, um, knowing yourself and really empowered. Okay, very empowered. And I feel like this person really helps you actualize your self empowerment. Um, they really help you own who you are. This person's going to love you in ways you've never known. Uh, they're going to love a lot of the hidden aspects of yourself as you're able to bring them forward because that's the deeper energy here of this connection. That's the deeper energy here. Like this person. You're going to, it feels like you're going to slowly unroll yourself. You know what I'm seeing? <laughs> 
I'm seeing those Swiss rolls by little that De- like the little Debbie's Swiss roll rolls, and I'm seeing it like unroll. Like you're gonna reveal the sweet, creamy center of yourself to this person, but it's gonna take time because you're still healing when you meet this person, and they know it. Uh, they are a healer, um, and I, like I said, I I don't think necessarily for you guys, this person's gonna come in and say I'm a healer. I think it's just it's their energy, it's their flow. Okay, this person will have some. Okay, they want the bottom too. Um, this person will have some tells. I think they're going to be very compassionate um, with animals, with nature. They're, they may grow things. They they may have like cats or dogs. They may have a farm. Um, this person is just going to love nature. They're going to see nature as something almost magical. Some of them, you're just going to know. You're going to know. Okay, we have soulmates and let control, let go of control issues. I think for some of you that that's what's going to be hard. Um, Because when you've been in the hermit state for a while and you've been healing a lot of brokenness, a lot of broken heartedness, it's it's very hard to kind of like let go and let someone in. Okay, when we've been in kind of a, a state of solitude healing, we pick up a lot of like habits and ways of being in aloneness and healing that we don't realize until somebody walks into our life. The thing about it is, is this person is going to help you realize some of your own toxic behaviors in relationships, and they're going to be patient and allow you to heal that, okay? It's going to be a very peaceful relationship. Okay, let's get some more love messages. I feel like this will be peaceful. This person does not like screaming or yelling. This person um, is somebody, when they get angry, they like pull back and they think about it. This is somebody who may have had anger issues in the past, but they've learned how to control it. Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. I feel like this person is really going to help you transform your life Um, to go from the inner transformation that I'm feeling you're going through or have gone through to it manifesting the physical transformation in your life, like life changes. For some of you, I feel like moves. For some of you, it will be like you starting your own business. For some of you, it will be starting college or or whatever. But they will be, you know, transitional moves and things in your life. And this person will help you with those. They will help you be bold. They will help you grow comfortable with who you are, where you're able to do those things. Because In many ways, this person is coming in your life to help serve you at a higher level, like at a higher self level. It's like a soul agreement to come in and help you at this time. Um, And I feel like this person is going to absolutely knock your socks off. (laughs) I feel like they're going to blow you away um, because this person's going to be extremely kind to you. I feel like they're a gift giver too. Healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. I feel like the connection itself is healing. It's like when they come in, they bring in a wave of healing with them. Um, And I feel like They will have this energy of, you know, when you meet someone and they're irresistible, it will be like that, but it won't bring conflict. It'll bring peace. You'll feel the sense of like, at last, I found my love. Like, at last, I'm home kind of thing. Um, That song, At Last, I can't remember who sings it. If you remember, please put it down below. It's a very old song and it is beautiful and that might resonate for some of you. but it's they're very attracted to you physically but this group one energy feels like it's a very high vibe connection um and i feel like it's because you've done so much work that and i feel like for some of you it's almost like you've told spirit or your guides or whatever like if i can't have true love then i don't want anything and that's exactly what they brought you or they're bringing you okay We have in control, dominate, take over. (laughs) See, I feel like this person, it's not that they want to come in and control you, but they want to come in and help you. They want to come in and, and serve you, like be good to you. And for some of you, it feels like a surrender 
of control or a surrender of self. And really, when you fall deeply in love, it can feel like you're surrendering to it. And I feel like for some of you, that that's very scary, okay? Also, they may be a little kinky, okay? <laughs> we have Love Nest Road Trip Weekend Fun. I feel like this person, with all this really deep energy, I think your true love is fun. I think they like to travel. Um, I think they like nature, like I said a thousand times. I see like I feel like this person likes to go see different natural formations, you know, like they may like to go hike or see different natural places in the world or in the country. Um, I'm also seeing castles. They may like to see like medieval castles and things like that too. I'm seeing Ireland and Britain. I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing, I'm hearing the word Welsh um, as well. Gaelic. I'm not sure why all this, is this past life? Is this past life? I'm going to pull one more of these. We have booty lover. <laughs> so we're getting down to it. Okay. So they're going to love your assets. Okay. Uh, they're going to love your assets. <laughs> okay. So there's a lot of physical attraction and I'm seeing someone smack somebody on the booty. Uh, so, you know, they're going to love that, uh, dump truck, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, they're going to love your body. I think it's going to be very healing for you. I feel like in a past life, they pro probably had some tant tantric, like priest or priestess energy here. We have a role play dress up they're going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> this is going to be a very fun and deep relationship. And I feel like for some of you guys, that might be kind of strange because you never expected to have a deep relationship that's fun. Like you get both. You get the depth and you get the fun. How does that work? You, it may kind of at first knock you off balance, make you feel a little bit like, hey, how, how do we do that? How do we get both. You get both, okay? Because you've done the work. You've done a lot of work here, all right? And that really um, facilitates some really lovely things and a connection, okay? Let's get you guys some letters, initials, and some charms. Okay, group one, these are going to be your letters, your initials, and your charms. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. These could be your initials, their initials, a meaningful word, a screen name, just take what resonates. We have M-W-E-E-L-F-R-O-M-C-I-K-R-Z-R-N-D-I. -E -E -R -R okay, we have we. This person's fun, you guys. They tell jokes maybe dad jokes. We have a car here. They may have a red car or a muscle car or a really cool car. Um, they may really be into cars as well. This may be like a side hobby. They may sell cars. They may rebuild cars. They're, they may have, they may do this for a living. They may work on cars. They may have a shop where they work on cars. Something about cars or tires or engines or something like that. Okay. We have the Lilith sigil here. You may be aligned with Lilith. If you you're not, um, I feel like for some of you, if you felt called to her, that's your confirmation. Okay. Um, this person also may be into Batman. <laughs> um, I'm also getting with all the uh, advocate, servant, Samaritan energy. Like this is a really good person. They are a genuinely good person. And at first, for some of you guys, that might really... Um, throw you off because I feel like for a lot of you, you've dealt with a lot of chaotic people. You've had a difficult go at it. So they're going to be different. They're going to be real. Uh, what they say they are is actually who they are. They are exactly who you think they are. Um, and they're going to take time to build trust. We had a trust card here. Um, they're not going to have any problems like you vetting them. They're not going to have any problems with you moving slowly. If someone has problems with how you move, that's a red flag. Okay, we have two. Twos are going to be a sign of alignment here. I also feel like with the soldier here, they could be an Aries, a Taurus. Um, I'm also getting Scorpio here, and um, I'm getting Libra with this soldier. Just that's what I'm getting, okay? Uh, we have, oh, we have another tile. We have a U here. 
that I missed. Um, I'm also feeling with the soldier, I feel like spirit is going to be guiding you uh, to a path that uh, if you don't have this person in your life, if you do, spirit guided you to this person. They guided you to uh, to this healing pathway that opened you up to allow this person to come in or is going to allow this person to come into your, your life in some very interesting way. Okay, it'll be different, all right? We have the evil eye charm here. Um, and I feel like this is just a reminder, like, to be aware. Be aware of the energies in your life. Some of you guys have some energies in your life that aren't exactly copacetic. Um, and many of you guys, because you're on this healing journey with the hermit, and I feel like you're aware of it. Um, and this is just your friendly reminder from your ancestors that, you know, it may be time to make some decisions about those situations. We're not going to get really deep into that. This is just a reminder that those of you who are going through it, they see you and they're there and if you need help please call on them okay we have a passport again i feel this energy of like this person likes to travel if they haven't traveled a lot they want to uh, they may want to travel with you abroad um, they may already have a passport ready even if they haven't traveled yet so there may be something about traveling i feel like for some of you they're going to want to like go on weekend trips with you we had the trips card here so um then we have the bell Okay, and I'm, I got to tell you, uh, I don't get this every time I pull um, the bell here. I have like something on my fingers from that jar. Anyway, um, the bell here, it to me, when I, I saw it land, I heard wedding bells. So for some of you, this person along the path, you guys may actually get married. Okay, for some of you, it will be traditional. For others, it will be non-traditional. Um, you may just live together or something like that. Um but I feel like if you're in a non-traditional relationship, there will be some kind of formality to it, like some kind of labeling to it where it's a kind of forever connection. All right. Okay. That's what I received for you, group one. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe. And if you'd like to see more Auntie Amy's Trashy Tarot, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you beautiful, magical baddies on the other side. Bye guys. Hey group two, all of you that selected love you more. This is going to be your reading all about who is your true love. So keep in mind, this is a general reading. So just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Now I'm going to be pulling as I go today. And at the end of this reading, I'm going to get letters, initials, and charms. And we're going to find out more details about your situation. All right, let me shuffle this one up a few times. I'm going to knock it. And, uh, whoo, get that energy out of my hand. <laughs> and uh, let's see what, what comes out for you. Who is my group two's true love? Tell me about my group two's true love. Wow, all these cards want to come out. These two right here I'm feeling. So let's go with that. Uh, we have scribe and companion. Okay. All right. Let's pull from this zodiac. You know Let's go ahead and shuffle this a couple of times. Once more. Okay. Give me a couple more cards here. Scribe and companion. I see people text messaging or emailing. There's a phone involved here. We have Libra and Gemini air signs. <laughs> Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. I'm going to go ahead and call it Aquarius. Let's pull one more of these. Tell me more about who is my group two's true love. Looks like an air sign. Looks like an air sign. Uh, very communic. They, you know, hey, I'm I'm a Libra. We like to talk. We can be very communicative. Okay. Um, they may be a writer. Uh, I'm getting like a creative energy here. I'm going to pull the one that landed on the table. We have Saturn. Okay, they may have an air sign in Saturn. They may be a Gemini, especially with the Saturn energy. Um, I'm feeling Uranus, uh, Uranus as well. Um, they may have some kind of powerful, um, some kind of powerful natal chart 
formation. Many people don't realize that Libra actually is also ruled by Saturn. Okay, Libra ruled by Venus, also ruled by Saturn. Um, Libra can be very loving, but you don't want to fuck with the Libra because they have this Saturn element that, woo, um, I feel a very strong person. They may have Gemini and Saturn or Libra and Saturn. Okay, a person who has Gemini and Saturn, I have Gemini and Saturn, and I'll tell you about it. A person who has Gemini and Saturn, a lot of times they've had a very difficult childhood. Um, usually there is some kind of horrible tragedy they've had to overcome. It also gives these people a natural kind of occult vibe. Uh, they have a natural gift for magic and the occult. Okay, so this person may be into the occult or magic or they they may just have this natural magnetism um, and it comes from this Gemini and Saturn energy. Okay, um, let's pull some more cards here. Let's find out more about, about them. Um, it feels like it's not just love here. Like this person's going to be a friend. Okay, this is someone you're going to enjoy spending your time with. They're going to enjoy spending time with you. Which, you know, you may have had relationships where people say they love you, but they don't really spend a lot of time with you. So it's like they love you, but they don't act like they like you. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like this person's going to like you and they're going to want to talk to you. Uh, they're going to want to invest a lot of time with you. Uh, we have uh, establishing emotional boundaries. Okay. Uh, this person may be very guarded. Okay. They may be a very guarded person. So uh, for them to come forward towards you is like a huge thing. Um, I feel like this is someone who probably um, has been through a lot. Okay. And um, they feel so drawn to you. Tell me more about this. This is fascinating. Tell me more about this. Um, okay, we have invoking guides, gods, and guardians. I feel like this person's very connected to spirit, okay? They may have been born this way. Um, I feel like they may be psychic, they may be a witch, they may just be very magical. They also could be extremely creative. They may be a writer or creative some way. They may be um, an artist, they may be involved in music. I do feel like with Saturn present here, they are extremely powerful, okay? Um, and I also feel this energy of like, because they've been through so much, um, I feel like they don't put up with any shit. And that's why I feel like it may be difficult to get to know them at first. Okay. Um, but I feel like there's a, a, a magnetism here. Okay. We have uh, accepting the past. And I, I feel like when you meet this person, you may be doing this and they may be doing this. You guys may be reconciling your past. Um, I feel like this person definitely has done some healing here of this very difficult childhood or very difficult past. Um, some of them may have like actually gone to jail or gone to rehab or in some way had their freedom restricted and it could be from trauma. It could be from some mental health issues. It could be from illness. But I feel like for some of them, there's been some restrictions that they've had to get free from. Um, and it's been a very difficult process here. Let's pull from this deck here. I have to pre-screen these cards because there might be boobays. <laughs> and, and YouTube doesn't like boobays for some reason. Okay, so let's pull some cards out of the True Love Oracle deck. Tell me more about this connection. Tell me more about the true love of group two. Tell me more. I'm seeing like dark hair, brown hair, red hair. Um, we have the sacred woman here. Uh, we have inner peace. We have one more. One more. Cut the deck. Okay, cut the deck and, the, and that one. Okay. Uh, and we have worthiness. Okay, so I feel like they have really worked on their own worthiness. I think they've had to heal so much from their past that they really have had to heal a sense of self-worth to know that they're worthy of love. Like this is someone who 
uh, has been treated very poorly, okay, extremely poorly in their life. Um, this may be you, this may be them, okay, so whatever I'm picking up on here. Um, and I feel like they know their worth. That's part of the reason why it's hard to get to know them. They can be a little bit hard to get to open up, okay? Because honestly, this person is at a place where they're like, I have peace with who I am and I don't need someone. I don't need someone. And I feel like they're at a place when you meet, if you've already met them, however this, because I'm not feeling exactly like some of you've met them, some of you haven't. So it's very individual, but I feel this energy of like, it's like when you come into their life, it's the time where spirit's opening them up to like, you need to let people in. You don't have to do this alone. You're not meant to be alone for the rest of your life because being in the energy of I can do it by myself, I can do it alone, it still kind of seeps this energy of not being healed. It, it seeps the energy of, of trauma because I can relate to this and I'll, I can explain to you why being alone is something that traumatized people do. It's because it's easier to control your environment and you feel safe when you're alone because no one can hurt you then. So as you go on this healing journey, um, you're just like, okay, I'm at peace with being alone. I feel safe then. I can do my work. I can, you know, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. And spirit comes through with these ideas <laughs> about like, you know, you don't need to be alone. And Libras, you know, uh, partnership is part of their, part of their thing. So, um, yeah, I, I feel like they kind of bring your energy into their awareness. Okay. All right, let's pull from this deck. Let's pull a couple from this, this deck here. I think this is the Dark Oracle, Dark Feminine Oracle, something like that. Okay, give me a couple cards here. Tell me more about this. We have Luck by the Magic of My Four-Leaf Clover. I feel like when you meet this person, I feel like there's either going to be like a blessing, like you're going to feel blessed or very lucky. Like I feel so lucky that I met you because I feel like it will feel very like by chance, but it's actually divinely, divinely timed, divinely guided is what I'm hearing. Um, I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky I met you. I can't believe I met you this way. Like I wasn't going to come here. I wasn't going to go there. I wasn't going to message you. I wasn't going to be in that room. I wasn't going to join that group. I wasn't going to, you know, I wasn't going to do that. I wasn't, I've never reached out to somebody like that. Like this is going to involve some kind of like unusual behavior of some kind. Okay, we have the threshold. Shall you dare? There it goes. There it is. That movement of like, of like an unusual kind of movement here. Um, I have to pre-screen these tarot because again, we have boobies and nudity. But uh, it's the goddess of love uh, tarot deck and I feel guided to pull for you from this. Um, tell me more, the threshold. I feel like, see, I'm feeling my crown open up. I, I feel like when you meet this person, there is going to be just this inflow of connection. It's going to absolutely make some of you giddy. You're just going to feel it. It's going to feel very magical. This person's so magical uh, that you're going to feel it. You're going to feel their magic. We have the seven of wands and the seven of swords. 77 is going to be a number of alignment. Okay. So we have two sevens here. Okay. Seven's a very lucky number, you guys. Um, so watch those sevens, okay? Um, and I feel like with the seven of swords here and the seven of wands, I feel like this energy of coming in, um, this is a real one, okay? This person is not going to lie to you. This person is not going to betray you. They are loyal. They are very loyal. They are down. They are a ride or die. They are a real one. And they are worth getting to know. But they are very difficult. They have a lot of boundaries up. Okay. Um, and you know, they're hard to get. I'm just going to tell you, this is somebody who's very hard to get. Um, this is somebody who has probably been pursued by a lot of people, but few people know this person. Okay. Um, because I feel like this person absolutely defends their space. They have worked very hard to get the peace they have in their life. They've gone through a lot to get where they are. 
uh, mental health wise, physical health wise, and they guard it. And um, they haven't quite sharpened their tool of discernment enough to kind of like be able to just know by a name who's good and who's not. So they're still very careful. So it's like you have to show them by your actions that you are you're good. You're a good guy. You're a good person. You're a good whatever. Um, you have to like be consistent. Consistency is key with this person. It will bring down the gate. They'll bring down the gate for someone who is consistent, who will understand their nature. Libra, Gemini. Libra can be very flighty with, with um, communication. Uh, they'll talk to you for a while. They may float away for a while. Um, they may be Aquarius as well. Aquarius can do that. And it's not a reflection on you. It's a reflection a lot of times on how safe they feel. They're trying to feel you out. They're trying to feel this connection out to see, and they may not be a Libra, but this is a communication style I'm picking up on. Um, I feel like uh, for some of you, you may be left kind of confused with this person. You may not know, and it's because they are very guarded. Understand that their towers, their guards, their all this defense mechanism they have going on comes from a lot of them from trauma, from deep hurt. Okay. Okay. We have the ten of swords. Yeah. See, they, they have really, they, they've really been through it. Okay. This is someone who has been, a lot of them have been repeatedly traumatized. Okay. By love, by people who were supposed to love them. So they are in many ways sort of terrified of the journey of true love. And so when their true love, uh, for some of you, you are twin, you're a divine counterpart, soulmate kind of thing. Um, when you show up, it's going to be hard for them to kind of like surrender to that because they feel the loss of the control of the peace in their life. They don't realize that you actually bring peace in. Um, this doesn't feel chaotic. I didn't feel chaos with the first group. I don't feel chaos for you. I'm pulling peace for both of those groups. Um, but I feel like the chaos that they go through will be the resistance. Okay. This is someone who will resist the surrender. So if you want someone who's hard to get, that's what you'll get here. Okay. And it won't be because they think they're too good. It will be because of the emotional damage they've been through. And I feel like you, you may align with group one. You may need to watch group one. We may have a group one, group two kind of situation here. Um, you will be like someone who is very compassionate um, and understanding because I feel like this person will be drawn to kind of tell you things they've not told other people. They will communicate to you the reasons why they are the way they are. And they don't normally tell people that, but they'll tell you, you know, I'm hard to know because I've, you know, I've had a lot of trauma or I've been through this or I have anger issues or blah, blah, blah. They'll tell you why. Okay. Um, and that's how you'll know. Okay. And there'll be this feeling and they'll tell you, like, I feel drawn to you. I, you know, I can't walk away from this and I'm afraid. I, I feel like this person will open up. So you'll know why they may be a little flighty. You may know why they kind of like tell you things and they pull back. They tell you things, they pull back. They go out with you and then they're, they're, they act scared because they are afraid. They're afraid of true love because they've never experienced real love before. Um, not from their family, not in their life. This is someone who hasn't had a lot of positive uh, experiences. Okay, let's get some romance angels here. Tell me more about my group two's true love. Tell me more about my group two's true love. Give me a couple cards here. There's one. Forgiving and learning. Okay. I feel like you're going to teach this person a lot about love. Release your ex. Forgiving and learning. I feel like you're going to teach them a lot about love true love. Um, and you're going to teach them how to trust someone. You're going to teach them what a good person looks like. Um, and I feel like you're going to help them renew their faith in love separation. Um, with the separation, I feel like I'm getting like twin flames and separation, divine counterparts and separation. I feel like you have felt the separation from this person. Like when you meet this person, you're going to feel like this is my half kind of thing. Like I feel whole, although I don't really like that kind of talk because you're whole all by yourself. 
I feel this energy of like, I'm home. This is what I've been searching for. Even though they're going to be hard to know and there's complex energy here, I feel like you're going to feel like this is home to me because there's something about them that is so warm and they're going to feel like a gift because there's something underneath all the layers that is so precious and so amazing and magical. And as you talk to them more and as they reveal more of themselves to you, you're going to feel like, I get it now. I, I understand why, because they are, they are this amazing creature. And I, I want to know more of them. Like I, I want to know more about them. There'll be this draw as they reveal themselves. There may be some Scorpio here. This person slowly unveils themselves to you. And it's not that they do it to entrap you into their energy. It's just their way of communicating. Um, this person, uh, the only reason that they tell you the things they do is because they feel the attraction too, and they don't want you to leave. They don't want you to run away, but they're having a hard time lowering their, their, their boundaries kind of thing. Okay. Got this card here. We have, when you meet your soulmate, you'll feel calm, no anxiety or ag agitation. I feel like you will be at such peace with having peace for them and patience. Um, even if you're not normally a patient person, because you'll know that you have touched like the energy of your person and you know, this person is worth it. Like they are going to be so worth it. Um, and I feel like this energy here will be unnerved by the calmness here, by the fact that you guys won't fight a lot. There won't be a lot of discord. Um, it will be a peaceful thing. Um, and you guys will have a flow in your relationship that this person's never experienced before. And I feel like that may cause them some weird energy, like ungrounded energy. They're not used to good. Okay. They don't, They've never processed a good relationship. They don't know what that feels like. So it, it may be a situation where they just feel like really, really caught off guard by this. Even though they've been doing so much work, um, your relationship is a reflection of the work they've done. And also for you, if you've been doing a lot of work, your relationship is a reflection of the work you've done. But we're talking about who is your true love. Well, this is your true love. This is someone who really has worked on themselves. Um, and I feel like you're going to feel like they're a gift. We have when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. This person's going to learn so much about love from you and this relationship. Um, you are going to renew their hope in love and possibility um, because I feel like this person just doesn't have a good, they may not actually believe in love in a traditional sense anymore. Um, and I feel like this energy of you coming in and just illuminating the possibilities of true love in their life. And like I said, I, I think it will be difficult at first to know them, but I feel like once you get beyond the pearly gates, okay, I feel like the depth of this connection is going to be, I, I can't use that word because it's, it's, it's a PG-13 situation, but it's going to be an aphrodisiac, okay? The depth that you guys have will be it, it will it will empower this connection okay i'm seeing children you guys may have children together um or you may have kids or they may have kids but there's children here so you may you may create children together this may be a long-term situation i'm gonna pull a few more cards here okay cupid's desire we have pleasure wanting your attention yeah they definitely uh, want your attention and here's the thing I don't feel like they're going to come at you that way like other people. This person has like, um, they have a very intense sensual side that you won't get to see right away. Okay. 
we have karaoke singing video songs okay so you guys may talk online or video chat or something like that okay but i'm telling you especially with the singing videos you may have a platform they may have a platform also um but this person has a a hidden smexy side y'all uh that is kind of locked away and they haven't really shared with many people okay and you're going to get to see that it's very special that you get to see it. Um, some of them have like, like magical abilities in this area. Okay, I'm not going to elaborate. <laughs> you get to unwrap that. Okay, you get to unwrap that. Two more here. We have sexy feminine. Okay, so, and we have another person involved interference three way. Okay, so. Um, this person, when you meet them, they may have gotten out of a relationship that was really bad. That might be you. Um, but one of you may be divorced. Both of you may be divorced. There may be something like that. Also, there may be a poly situation. You may be poly. They may be poly. Um, that may not apply to you. If it does, it does. Um, but I feel like this person um, may be very adventurous in the the bedroom. Um, it may not involve another person, but all these cards and the energy I'm getting here is like, they may be a little kinky, you know, um, and, but you won't get to see that right away. That's something they're going to kind of keep back. Okay. Um, this person's very sensual. Um, and, uh, I think that in the past, people have really taken advantage of them. They kind of fell into their sensuality and um, they haven't really gotten to know them on a deeper level. Like they've had very, I don't want to say shallow relationships, but they rarely have let people like know them to the depth of them. And that's what you're going to get. You're going to get someone who you get to know to the very depths of their soul kind of thing. This is very, very deep. Um, and this person, uh, I feel like once they cross the threshold, once you get beyond the boundaries, this person's fearless. Like they start to let you know, it's almost like them letting you in is like, is like part of their path of healing. And once they do that, you get it all. You get all of them in a way that no one else has. And it's very satisfying. It's very fulfilling emotionally, physically. Like this is a very fulfilling relationship. This is true love in full blossom. Okay. Um, let's move on to getting your letters, your initials, and your charms. Hey, group two, these are going to be your letters, your initials, and your charms. Keep in mind, it's a general reading, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. These could be your initials, their initials, a meaningful word, a screen name. Just take what resonates. We have J-O-Y-Q-U-A-Y-I-N-M-B-X-F-E-D. We also have the number six here on this little heart. Um, you've got quite a few charms. We have the cat here. That's Leo energy. Also, curiosity. Oh, we have another heart here with a three. So three and six, 36. Um, we have a bag here. We have the Batman. The little Batman charm came out in the first group. You may be drawn to the first group. There may be something um, there for you. I have a clock here, and I feel like divine timing is very much in play here. Um, I have... A, this charm here, and it has like a fall tree in it. Um, there may be something about fall. Again, Libra is October uh, birthday, and Scorpio is November. So Libra, they may be a Libra or Scorpio, or something may happen in during that time as well. We have a bat here. They may have a darker aesthetic. Um, they may be kind of witchy. We had this is the ancestor charm for me. So I feel like a lot of you guys have ancestors who are guiding you here. We also have a Christmas charm. So 
you know, somewhere like in the holidays or maybe something uh, significant that happens with this true love. If you know this person and you're in like a relationship with them, there may be something that happens during this time um, that takes you to the next level. We have a shooting star here. So uh, movement in this relationship. For others, you may meet this person. Um, it may be the time that there's like a breakthrough in the relationship where you, some of those walls come down. Um, but I feel like like this person with with this uh, skeleton charm here, I get this energy like this person is is there for the long haul. Like um, even though they may feel very flighty, they're not. Okay, it's it's fear. Even though they've done a lot of work here, there's still a lot of fear, and it's very understandable with what they've been through. Um, and I feel like eventually you're going to know what they've been through and it's going to make sense and it's going to help you, um, kind of understand what they're going through. I feel like a lot of them are working on their bag and maintaining with this peace sign, their own peace here. Like they're, they're very committed to, um, working on themselves and, uh, like, some of them have made like vows to like always be there for themselves. Okay. I can't ignore that there's a joy here. This is a joyful connection. Once you're able to kind of like get past the boundaries and get past a lot of it. And once you kind of know what's going on and why they're acting the way they are, I feel like the connection is very joyful. There's, there's a lot of, of smiling and happiness and laughter. Um, but it, and that might be, the way they deal. They may have a very good sense of humor. They may have a very dark sense of humor. Um, because I feel like for some of them, it's the way they've dealt with a lot of this trauma and a lot of their hardship is they've used humor, which for some people may be off-putting, but for some people, that's how they've dealt with things. They've been able to keep going because they have this sense of humor. So humor may be very important in this connection. All right. You may get other tarot readings about them. Um, I do feel like they have gotten some other kind of message about you. They may be getting it through songs. They may get it through tarot readings. They may get it through uh, friends. Like people say things and all of a sudden, you know, it's as if spirit is speaking through them. You know what I'm saying? Like they may have some kind of idea that you're coming um, and they may feel not prepared for you. All right. Okay, group two, that's what I received for you. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please let me know down in the comments below because I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe. If you'd like to see more Auntie Amy's Trashy Tarot, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you beautiful, magical baddies on the other side. Bye, guys. Hey group three, all of you that selected Be Mine, this is going to be your reading all about who is your true love. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Now, I'm going to be pulling as I go, and at the end of this reading, I'll be getting letters, initials, and charms, and we'll be finding out more information about your situation. So let's get into it. Whoops. Some of my cards are trying to slide off my table. No, don't slide off. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> we'll put you here. All right. For safekeeping, I'll put you here. Okay. All right. So let me shuffle it up and we'll get you some cards. Who is my group three's true love? Who is my group three's true love? And once more. Okay, you know, just one more time. There we go. Okay, that's better. Okay. Okay, who is my group three's true love? Who is my group three? Okay, those kind of popped out. So just these three, you know, this one and that one. Okay. All right, now I'm going to get a few from this Zodiac deck here. Give me a couple of cards. Tell me about my group three's true love. Tell me about my group three's true love. Sagittarius flipped. So we have Sagittarius fire energy. Okay, tell me about my group three's true love. You could be a Sagittarius or it could be them. Tell me about my group three's true love. Be sure to take what resonates and just leave the rest behind, okay? One more card here. Bottom one. We have Pluto. 
Okay. Um, give me some more energy here as well. More energy. We have Neptune. Okay, so Pisces energy. Okay. I'm, I'm feeling like pulling another one from this. We have Sagittarius and Neptune or Pluto and Neptune. Pluto and Neptune. Sagittarius and Pluto. Okay. Okay. And we have Leo. Okay. Could have Leo and Neptune or Leo and Pluto. Let's get these cards here. We have Knight, Messiah, Mother. Oh my. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's get some more cards here. I'm going to pull from this deck right here. Tell me more about my group threes. True love. This person is brave and bold. Okay. This is a very brave person, a very bold person. Okay. Could also be an Aries, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, they're transformational. There's Scorpio energy here. Um, Pisces as well. Um, and with mother, I get cancer. So I feel like this person really wants to like take care of you um they're they really want like this is a nurturer this is somebody who is a nurturer okay so they're going to be very good about like taking care of you taking care of the relationship this person's very brave i get this element of like just so fearless such a fearless person we have guardian angel count on my protection very protective of you um we have nightmares in the dark of night okay um this person may be aligned with darker energies as well shadow work this person may be a shadow worker this could be you or this could be them give me another card here tell me about this person um i feel like this person is very honorable and they're very charitable, but don't fuck with them, okay? Because they're very powerful here. Um, and I, I feel this energy with the Messiah of like, there's like a higher level vibe here, but most people wouldn't catch it. They wouldn't catch their higher vibe, okay? We have Heartbreak Palace, Arrows in the Heart, okay? All right, and we have Ghosts from Another World. I do feel like this person has like heart. They've been a heartbreaker, okay? They, they broke hearts. This person, I feel like they're probably very attractive. Um, they're wanted. Uh, and uh, I, I get this energy of like being very, they know their way around romantic relationships. Um, and I feel like they get what they want, okay? Um, we have uh, activating empathic magic. I feel like this person... Um, has some kind of connection with you that transcends the physical, like there's some kind of like empathic connection, generating dynamic confidence. This person's very confident. Uh, they have a very healthy ego. I don't want to say they're egotistical because it doesn't feel like they're an e egotistical person. I feel like they just know who they are. I feel like some of them are very talented. I'm picking up on talent from this group. Uh, very talented. They could be an artist. They could be a very successful business person. They could be very smart. They could be a talented writer. They could be an artist. Um, this person could be uh, like someone who's just in college and just it's like a straight A student. Someone who this is someone who's impressive. Like they they may not have accomplished it yet, but they have the capacity. Um, whatever they do, they're extremely good at it. Um, and some of them have gotten recognition for it, and some of them haven't. We have wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. This person uh, will go with the flow. They won't force things with you. They won't rush things because they believe in letting the flower unfold. Oh, my. <laughs> They're going to let the flower unfold, okay? They're going to let it unfold, all right? We have a new beginning and twin flames, okay? So you got the twin flame card. So this is twin flame energy, which can be very, very toxic. I don't like to use twin flamey kind of stuff, but um, twin flame divine counterpart energy here. This person's going to allow uh, things to kind of unfold. They're not going to force it. When I say twin flames, I'm saying, I'm not saying anything that's toxic. This won't be toxic. Okay. No one is overrunning anyone's boundaries. In fact, uh, this is someone who's going to let, they may move very slowly, but I want to tell you something y'all need to know. So y'all can 
keep your knickers up, okay? <laughs> this person is part of their seduction, okay? Because this person is going to seduce you. They are absolutely going to seduce you. I feel that very strongly. But it's not a seduction to uh, just, to, uh, okay, just to like get you. Like they want you. Like they they want you in their life. Like this isn't just a conquest. I'm hearing that song by uh, the White Stripes Conquest. <laughs> Tell me more. I want one more of these cards. Tell me more about this. The bottom one. We have confronting inner demons. Okay. I, I want to tell you this person has a powerful magnetism. Okay. It's extremely powerful. And I feel like for some of you guys, it may be a tad bit unnerving. All right. Um, I'm going to pull from the goddess of love uh, tarot. I have to pre-screen these because there's boobays and boudets in this deck. And... YouTube doesn't like that. So let me knock it and shuffle it around. I feel like this person's going to be so patient. They may have been a player in the past, okay? They may have had a lot of love interest, quote unquote, hookups kind of thing. They may have had a lot of friends with benefits kind of thing. Um, but you hit them. You strike them. Like they are stric stricken by your energy. Um and stricken by you. I think you're very attractive. You may not think you are, okay? Th this is how they see you, all right? They're very drawn to you. They dream about you. Um, but this person is fiercely protective. And I got to say with the be mine, they can be a little possessive. Uh, not overly so, but this is somebody who will fight for you with the knight here. We have the two of wands, the five of pentacles, and the queen of wands. Is there any boobays? Okay, so you have the two of wands, the Five of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. Okay. I feel like there's this energy here of, am I enough? Um, is, is there enough here? Um, and we have the Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. So 22 is going to be a powerful number of alignment for you. Twin Flame energy with that 22. Um, the queen of wands here. I feel like for the first time in this person's life, queen of wands is the sexiest card in the deck. Okay. Charismatic, um, the ace of swords, breakthrough energy. I feel like for the first time in this person's life, this person is going to be absolutely caught off guard by you. And I feel this energy of like, they just are going to know. They are absolutely going to know that you're the one. You may not know, but they will. And it's going to cause them to like really look at themselves and be like, am I good enough for them? Like I have a past. Am I good enough? I don't know. I don't know if they're really going to like me. It's going to cause some kind of inner, a little bit of inner doubt with this person because they're going to realize like you are special. You are unique. Um, you are not like the others and they're going to start to kind of like do some deeper reflections and they're going to find that they, they want to be a better person because of you. They want to be a more balanced person. Um, they want to get their shit together more. I feel like they have to a degree their shit together, but it's like your energy is inspiring. They're inspired by you. It's like clarity comes to them through this connection. Um, they want this, but they just, they're so taken aback, they don't know. With Pluto and Neptune, this is a very transformative connection. And it's transformative for you and for them. With the twin flame, new beginning kind of thing, it's very transformative. And it is wise with this weight card to allow the flow of this connection to kind of like dictate how it goes, to not force it, to allow the energies to kind of like just work their magic here, okay? Uh, and with the Leo energy, one of you guys may feel some kind of higher calling on your life. You both might. Um, and I feel like when one of you realizes like the calling on the other person's life or both of you, you know, that may cause some like, how are we going to do this? Is this real? There's just a lot of questioning here is what I'm feeling. Um, oh, 
let me see. Yeah, you can see that one. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Devil. Okay, the Devil's a little risque. So we have the Devil here. This is absolute, absolute hot attraction. You guys are so attracted to one another. We have balance. Balance coming in. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, Th this is a relationship that is absolutely hot. There is a lot of... Um, foundational growth family ten of pentacles is family building huge foundations it's wealth it can be uh, fertility even like a fertile um, generational kind of energy this this could be the person that you like spend your life with um, but it's hot and I want to tell you, it's it's with the devil here, the attraction is probably the most intense out of all of the groups today. Um, it is absolutely your uh, sensual attraction to each other is transformational. Um, I think you're going to feel the love for one another through physical touch. Um, and it really is going to transform both of you in into new powerful ways tell me more about this hot couple <laughs> we want to know more about this hot couple tell me more about them i have to pre-screen these because these are a little hot for youtube we have lustful energy yes i have been sending you smexy energy yes they're your twin so you guys who don't know who this is or even if you do I feel like at night when you're sleeping, there's some kind of high vibe energy transference going on. Um, they're sending you energy. You may be dreaming about this person. In astral, you may be having an astral hookup with this person. Even if you haven't met them yet, you know them. Your higher self knows them. Attention. I like what I'm seeing. Yeah. You, you catch their attention. Okay. They see your attraction. They see your beauty. There's something about your eyes. I'm seeing eyes and hair. I'm seeing like hair grazing your eyes. There's something about your eyes that's so alluring that I can't. Now I'm being focused on your lips, like your, the fullness of your lips. Like there's something so alluring about you. I can't. Okay, I cannot show you this card. Okay, but this person sends you energy. If you whether you know them or not. And they also have happy, happy hand time thinking of you and trying to manifest you, okay? Um, especially if you don't know each other. Like this person's trying to manifest you, okay? Um, let's get another card here. This is, hey, this is tea, y'all. Okay, we have trust. Can, can I trust you? Um, trust is super important to this person. Um, and I feel like the trust you build with this person is going to build huge foundations. It's going to bring in a kind of balance and peace within this relationship. It will remove all doubts you guys have of each other and the relationship. Um, and it will get stronger, of course, over time. I feel like the care that you, you have for them the way you see about them, the way you care about their wants and desires will increase the trust. Um, this person needs caring. They need someone to care about them in a very deep way. Um, this person's a deep well and um, their smexy time is transformational. Like, I feel like when they have intimate time with somebody, there's a transference of energy here like uh it's very powerful they may have been like a herodul which is like a a person of the goddess who did like love rites and things like that um there's just a very strong like kundalini energy here so let's get a couple more of these cards we have mirroring both having similar experiences so both of you may have this very powerful energy um and I, I feel this just powerful draw. It's almost like the universe can't keep you guys apart. Um, and you guys coming together really does set up 
a powerful opening of a road to something that is going to bring like a huge wave of balance, luck, and for some of you, generational wealth. You'll build some kind of business with this person um, or something creative or you guys will have kids, you know, there's something generational here that's born with this person. Um, let's get one more card here. My chair is making funny noises. Um, one more card here. We have astro projecting. I've been, vi I've been visiting you. Can you feel me? Some of you guys, like they keep talking about that. Some of you guys are talking to this person in astral. Okay, and this is your validation. If you've been wondering if that's really going on, yes, indeedy, it's absolutely going on. If you're with this person right now, yes, yes, you are talking to them in astral, absolutely, and you're hooking up. Some of you guys are hooking up energetically. Your higher selves are talking. Like there may be God forms involved. Some of you guys are meeting in a temple and you're having like ritual, astral situations going on. Understand that this is happening to help you in your life today it's how it's either guiding you guys together uh, to bring you guys together to bring you guys to a deeper connection is to help birth this foundational thing into reality but there's a higher vibe and there's a higher working going on with this couple so it's very profound profound and it's very transformational all right some of you guys your gifts with this neptune and pluto situation your your gifts are about to explode and it has to do with your connection to this person it's like you are a catalyst for them and they are a catalyst for you for good things and a lot of that has to do with your gifts and abilities all right let's get some letters initials and charms for you Okay, group three, these are going to be your letters, your initials, and your charms. Keep in mind, it's a general reading, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. These could be your initials, their initials, a meaningful word, a screen name. Just take what resonates. We have F, X, N, V, B, 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 P, A, L, M, S, A, L, M, E, E, E. Okay. Um, got a lot of charms here. We have the ancestor charm again that came out for you. So I feel like a lot of you guys have like spirits or ancestors that have guided you guys together or will be. So pay attention. Pay attention to your gut. Pay attention to those intuitive hits. They aren't just about, you know, your spiritual walk. Well, this person's part of it. They're part of your journey towards, uh, you know, elevation of your higher consciousness elevation of your life um we have this little charm here and when i get this this always makes me think about your chakras i feel like your chakras are becoming more and more aligned some of you guys are going through a throat chakra healing i'm feeling that with this little moon um this little moon charm because it's blue and throat chakra for me is always blue i feel like your throat chakra is going through a healing right now so that when you meet this person or if you're in a relationship with this person, it's going to help you communicate more effectively with this person. Um, it's going to help you open up more. Uh, so um, you'll be able to go deeper with them. Okay. Uh, we have this uh, unicorn energy. Um, this person is very unique. They're very special. Um, and I feel like you're going to feel that once you get in contact with this person. Um, and we have friends here. I feel like this person is going to be such a friend to you. Um, and we have this charm that says, we are all mad here. I feel like this is someone who's going to be very playful and very goofy. We have a little elf charm here. Um, I'm getting Lord of the Rings vibes, okay? We have a fairy, like a fairy castle here. Um, there's just this element of like your relationship being very... Um, almost like a fairy tale in a way. It's very transformative. You guys transform each other. Um, I feel like it's very sweet. Like there's a sweetness here. There's a care, there's a compassion, and there's a lot of growth in this relationship. And it feels very blessed, like blessings upon this couple. Um, because I feel the struggle here. Um, I'm being drawn to PA. Maybe you're from, uh, I'm hearing Virginia. Um, something about Virginia that won't be for all of you um I'm getting like 
Uh, also, I'm getting LA with the LA there. That Those are very specific. It won't be for everyone. All right. Um, yeah, so that's what I received for you, group three. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe. And if you'd like to see more Auntie Amy's trashy tarot, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you beautiful, magical baddies on the other side. Bye, guys.